Hello everyone, welcome to BK Engineering. Today as our topic is about 3D sketching of surface body using SOLIDWORKS. Our main motto is to create a surface wide frame body using planes 3D sketching. Now let us open a new part. Make sure the dimensions are MMGS. Now I will go first we'll draw a base frame of it. As we are using 3D planes, first we need to select the plane and then select the sketching option. Before selecting the plane, if you go through the sketch option, we'll be not getting the option 3D sketching of plane. So first select the top plane and select 3D sketching on plane, make it normal too. We'll draw a rough sketch of it first. As we know, there are arcs in the base frame of it. We'll take tangent arc, make sure to finish the base frame. Now let's define the dimensions of the base frame. Let us see the dimensions. 75 is the length and the arc radius is 50. Give the dimensions properly. I've completed the lines. Now let's define the arcs as 50 radius. Let us make two points as coincident. So, so that it will be easy to get the uh, reference plane and we can make relations with each other very easily. Now let us add one more plane for the top profile. Take top plane as reference. Give distance as 40 mm. Click OK. Make it normal too. Now we'll draw a circle of meter 75. Let us define the dimensions. It is better if we draw the center lines for the upper plate so that it will be easy to draw the spline that means the guiding curves now let us take one more plane and we'll take right plane as reference make it coincident click ok click normal to now we need to draw the splines to join the profiles Make sure you are selecting the exact points of the two profiles. Here is it. Again, we'll draw a we'll draw a center line for the relation.
so we have done with the two splines we need to draw a third spline for that we'll take a one more plane that means the third plane front plane and make it coincident make it normal to make sure you are selecting the right points as we need a curvature of the lines we need to give relations between the center lines and the splines as tangent curve so we'll first go to the first plane that we have created make it normal to as you can see this line is not a center line so that we can delete this line and draw a center line up to the edge of circle As you can see, we have given the wrong location for this spline. We'll adjust when we are giving the curvature at this plane. Now let us give the curvature for these two lines. Let's go play, edit sketch, make it normal to select the center line and spline and give the relation as tangent give the same relation with the with the other spline we have completed spline option for the two lines and we'll edit this first and then give the curvature for it Join the line with the edge point of the circle. Now let us give the relation between these two lines. We'll give it as tangent. Exit the sketch. Make sure all the planes are visible so that we can give the loft sketch of it. Go to surfaces, select the option lofted surface. As you can see, profiles. What are the profiles? Bottom profile and then upper profile. We have completed the profile. But the but the loft is not following the splines that we have created. So we need to give the guided curves. Select the guided curves. Here is the preview of it. By clicking OK, we'll get the 3D sketch of the surface. Thank you.